Confronting video has revealed the gory level of realism that Australian soldiers are exposing Ukrainian troops to as they train for the horrors of the front line against Russian invaders. In one particularly graphic exercise, Ukrainian soldiers applied a tourniquet to a leg that appeared to be blown off as the injured man yelled in agony, clutching his wound. A contingent of 70 Australian soldiers has been stationed in Britain since January, rigorously preparing 20,000 Ukrainian recruits to be battle-ready on the killing fields on eastern Ukraine, where the war with Russia has become a bloody stalemate. In February, Australian soldiers from the 5th Battalion, Royal Australian Regiment, deployed on Operation Kudu, trained Ukrainians in tactical survival skills by spending days out in the open of an unidentified southern England woodlands. During the freezing days and nights where temperatures dropped to 32 Fahrenheit, Ukrainians practiced the deadly skirmishes that happen daily in their own wooded areas as soldiers confront each other at close quarters. In a particularly graphic drill, the soldiers spotted a comrade with his leg blown off and secured a position around him as they attempted to stem the flow of blood from the realistic-looking severed limb. The Ukrainians also practiced maneuvering in the dark, lying in wait to ambush an enemy patrol and dragging away a wounded or dead comrade from a combat area. The training of the Ukrainians have been conducting over the past three days is going over section battle drills, an unnamed Australian section commander said. When they are on patrol and are contacted by the enemy, it's the actions that they take. It is suppressing the enemy, regaining the initiative and fixing the enemy in place. The training we are providing is to increase the survivability of the trainees when they go back to Ukraine. An unnamed Ukrainian recruit, who worked as a television producer before joining the defense forces to fight off the Russian invasion, said the training was proving invaluable. I have learned a lot, he said through an embedded interpreter how to move in a group, how to help. This must be practiced hundreds of times so that when the battle begins, I can use this knowledge. If many soldiers are trained according to NATO standards, it will help us all in combat. Although exhausted, the recruits were responding well, according to the diggers. The recruits received the information very well, and they have expressed how thankful they are for the training, an Australian junior non-commissioned officer said. I 100% believe the training we are providing will increase their survivability, as we have taught them how to work as a team. In March, Ukrainian recruits were put through other realistic battlefield conditions as they trained in trench warfare, which mirrors what is happening in eastern Ukraine, where fighting has begun to resemble the largely static carnage of World War I. The Ukrainians were trained in developing a trench system while fatigued, conducting reconnaissance of enemy positions and offensive patrolling. For the purposes of the exercise, the Aussie soldiers played the enemy. We have been probing them sporadically through the night to further their fatigue levels and to simulate the kinds of situations they may see in the coming weeks, an Australian platoon commander said. The training is realistic and demanding. It mimics the high-stress and high-stakes environment which the trainees will need to be able to operate effectively in. Some of the trainees have already got experience in trench warfare from the Russo-Ukraine War so the learning has at times been mutual. There are a lot of soldiers who have come from the front line who are about to go straight back into it, so this training is the most realistic for them. Most recently, the Ukrainians have been conducting live ammunition training in marksmanship and moving while firing. The bulk of the training being provided to the Ukrainians in the UK is being provided by British soldiers, but there are also contingents of military trainers from New Zealand, Canada, Sweden and Finland. No Australian personnel will enter Ukraine as a part of the operation. Before moving to a standing patrol position, focusing on developing a trench system, uh, while also conducting probing on the recruits' position. Following that, we're now moving to uh, the attack stand, where they'll focus on breaking in to the trench system uh, and clearing those trench systems chronologically. So the training we've been conducting in the trench is defending your position from the enemy, but also conducting counter attacks if the position has been breached. So yesterday looked like the stand that we got to it was straight into digging, uh, digging their own trench system, uh, also finding bay pits, sleeping bay pits, while at the same time uh, getting